Hi, what's up? So I'm going to write an original song. That's what I do on this channel. I'm a little bit tired right now. <laughs> I'm not so much tired, but do you ever get groggy after you eat a lot of food? That's what's happening to me. I went to the gym after I did some stock music stuff this morning and I uploaded it. And when I went to the gym, I decided to absolutely destroy myself and then came home and just ate a huge amount of food. And I mean, it's supposed to. I'm counting my calories and stuff and eating just a little bit over so I keep gaining muscle, which, yeah, I know I don't look like I lift, but trust me, compared to what I used to be, I'm actually 50 pounds heavier, believe it or not. I was a skinny little guy. Yeah, so I just ate a huge amount of food, and now I'm just like, oh, food coma. Probably got, like, my belly sticking out, too. But I'm going to write a song anyway. I came up with a really, really, really simple guitar part, so I'm going to start with... That'll be the chorus, just those three chords. Actually, I think I'll just do the power chord there. The verse is gonna go... So it's gonna drop down an octave. Usually you would do the opposite of that, but... I think it'll work and I can like switch octaves on the bass and do a bunch of overdubs. I have 77 beats per minute. I got a drum loop that I'm going to use for a metronome until I lay down the actual drum part. So starting off, I'm just going to do the left and the right guitar. Uh, they're slightly different sounds. I'm currently using Audio Assault Amp Sims. They sound good. Typically I use Bias Amp too, but I just got these in. They're new and shiny and fun. <laughs> um, anyway, though, I guess I'll get started. So here goes the left guitar part. Now I'm going to do the right side. I did an intro chorus, then it was just verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus. The third verse is going to be the guitar solo. It started raining when I was tracking, and it is loud. It must be pouring out. It's usually, like, not too loud in here because I got, like, double insulation, double sheetrock, and then the acoustic panels, although they just kind of block the reverb. They don't do much for soundproofing. Okay, I'm gonna do an overdub. It's just gonna be a simple lead part like that. I'll do that in the chorus and the, the verse will just be just really simple stuff. Okay, I'm just going to do the lead part again, except I'm going to do it up a third. I'm going to add another guitar part, and actually probably another one on top of that, because I just feel like going nuts today. an octave effect just for fun because hey why not it's not already ridiculously over layered enough right <laughs> I 
I probably have enough guitars on there, so I'm just going to do the solo over the third verse. It's improvised. I uh, muted all of the overdubs just because it makes it a little bit easier to hear, but I'm going to do the bass part. I'm going to do a really simple part. Something like that. The verse is going to be dead easy. Just follow the chords. Here I go. Bass is down. I deleted the drum loop. I uh, left the other tracks muted just because that way I can hear a little bit better. So I'm going to move the camera over, sit down, and start tracking the drums. Checking. Okay. So I came up with a chorus. I don't have a verse yet. Um, I think I might put a harmony on this, so I'm just going to do this separate and then I'll do the verse later. Lots of now I'm going to do the harmony parts. So here goes the verse. I just finished up the vocals. I'm not going to do anything else. It sounds pretty good as it is. I do throw a compression and reverb and that kind of fun stuff. I'm going to turn the harmonies down a little bit, that sort of thing. But for the most part, it's done. If you check my description box, you are going to find a Linktree link. That's where you can purchase and stream my music. You're going to find the lyrics. It's always about my Christian faith. And the other thing you're going to find, it's like the first link in the description box that I just started recently putting in there, is a link to uh, Faith Center in Glendale, California. They're a church that does excellent Bible teaching. They do translations of the original languages. It's just for the purpose of getting the actual intent of the writers, the actual meaning, without any denominational nonsense, without any agendas, nothing like that. So if you're in any way interested in anything Christianity, but you're getting frustrated because you go to a church and they just talk about the nice, happy unicorn farts and whatever they're doing, or they have a bunch of rites and rituals, and or they're super judgmental, all of those things just suck. That's not even Christianity. Christianity is simply faith because the Bible says the only way by which you can f please God is with faith. So without faith, you're not pleasing God. The thing is, the law is a standard that we can't live up to. In fact, the law was put there to prove that we can't live up to the standard because the original line in the Garden of Eden was that by knowledge of good and evil, we could be like God. The law proves that that's a big load of crap and we never measured up to it. But God came down in the flesh as Jesus and did live up to it. In doing so, Jesus, being all man and all God, was able to be worth enough to pay for all of us by his shed blood. So when he went up on the cross willingly, he fulfills the Old Testament example of the kinsman redeemer, of the burnt offering, and all sorts of things you can find in Le Leviticus. So check that out. I'm not going to go into detail, but if you check the link, you'll find teaching on it. Jesus paid for all of us. You just have to put your faith and trust in him. Without that faith, you can't please God. And you can't do it by your own righteousness. That's a big mistake everybody makes. They think, oh, I'm basically a good person and blah, blah, blah. All of us suck. We all lie, cheat, steal, everything. And even if you think the thought, like Jesus said, if you hate in your heart, you're as guilty as a murderer. So you're driving in traffic, some dude cuts you off and you're wishing he crashes a couple miles up the road. 
you're already as guilty as a murderer. So none of us can live up to that standard. So we just have to put our faith and our trust in Jesus Christ. And the thing people get backwards is they try and clean themselves up before they come to God, which is impossible for us. But what actually is supposed to happen is through that faith placed in the finished work of Jesus on the cross, God gives us the Holy Spirit. Spirit, and the Holy Spirit is what separates us. That's the distinction. There's no other distinction in people. Paul says there's no man or woman, there's no ethnicity, there's no bond or free, Jew, Gentile. There's no more distinction. The only distinction is whether you have that faith in Jesus or you don't. So you want equality? There it is. <laughs> but it's also not equality because you either have that faith or you don't. There's two classifications. But if you have that faith, God starts changing you with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit changes you from the inside out. It's an ongoing process. You have to keep holding on to that faith. Faith in Greek, when Paul is talking about it, is pistis. It's an action verb, which means it's, well, an action verb, and it's ongoing and continuous. So it is implied just by the grammar that you have to keep faithing continuously. And as you do that, God, by that conduit of faith, as if you're plugging an electrical cord into an outlet, the power starts flowing, God starts changing you from the inside out. And if you don't have that faith conduit and the power flowing, then that just stops and you fall from grace. Baptists like to say once saved, always saved type things and they think it's like a one-time deal. You say the sinner's prayer, turn around three times, jump in the air and fart once, I don't know. but. It's a ritual. It doesn't do anything for you. You're putting faith in faith. You're not putting faith in the finished work of Christ, and you're putting faith in that one-time thing. But you have to keep faithing and continually trust God, and that's how he starts changing you. No change is occurring if you just do one thing and then go back to your old ways. That doesn't work. So you have to keep faithing continuously, and uh, you also can't clean yourself up in any way, shape, or form. And don't let anyone judge you, because that's the thing. If you go by faith... It's between you and God. It's a relationship between you and God. It's no one else's business. So whatever you think you've done, how bad, however bad you think you are, all of that kind of stuff, it's irrelevant because we're all falling short. So a miss is as good as a mile here. It doesn't matter what you've done. Just put your trust in God. Start trusting God. God will change you. The things of God will start to interest you more. You'll lose your interest in the things of this world and all of those old addictions and habits and I'm not talking like drinking and smoking and all that kind of stuff. I'm talking like things you put your focus on and fixate on rather than fixating on God. And that could be anything. You could be addicted to bicycling, as stupid as that sounds, because that's what you're fixated on. But you have to fixate on God. And there's nothing wrong with any of that stuff. But your main focus has to be on God. And then you do everything for God and realize that God created everything. We're just on borrowed time and everything we have is borrowed. So we owe everything to God, should focus on God, and because of his love, he forgives us. Grace is unmerited favor. We don't earn a thing. It's unmerited. We just have the free will to choose God or the world, the flesh, and the devil. If you choose God, keep walking in faith, you will be changed. So stay in the word, study the Bible, don't listen to idiots because there's a lot of them, but if you follow that link, you'll find some people the super rare people that aren't idiots, and you can uh, learn a few things and uh, get the app they have on the website or just go to the website and watch the streaming service. But it's really good stuff. I highly encourage you to check that out, and I, I just can't say enough about it. It's great, great, great teaching. And uh, most people I look up or go to, I just kind of like end up face palming within five minutes, and I'm like, no. <laughs> but this is great stuff. So anyway, um, check it out. Um, also subscribe, like, comment, share, and I'll see you in the next video. Super appreciate you watching and I'm going to keep writing songs. So until the next one, see you later. Oh,